Hello, family. It's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your weekly from May 16th to the 22nd. I hope you are doing super fantabulous. I did miss you guys last week, but I needed a little bit of a break to spend some time with friends and family. With that being said, I do want to talk about what happened last week on the 13th. This is a huge event. Mark it on your calendar. Be sure to be paying attention. From the 13th all the way until July 28th, we have Jupiter and Piscean energy. Okay, it's in Pisces. It likes to be there. And it's doing. It's going to show us a little glimpse of what's to happen in 2022. That's what I'm saying. Keep your eyes open. Now, we're also in a little bit of a Mercury retrograde Um shadow time so just be prepared i've already had like a phone break a tv break um all kinds of stuff are going crazy over here on my end so pay attention guys because that is a sign when jupiter is in pisces i'm going back to jupiter when jupiter is in pisces this is important okay it's going to give us a sneak peek of the blessings that could be coming our way now on the 20th, happy birthday, Geminis. I hope you guys have a beautiful season. Don't cause too much trouble, okay? <laughs> Make up your minds, all right? Have a great time. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about next week on the 23rd, we have that beautiful energy coming in of Saturn stationing retrograde at 13 degrees Aquarius. So Aquarians, you might be feeling that a little bit much or already feeling it because it's kind of, the momentum is building up. Now, with that being said, the way these reads are set up, we are going to jump into air, earth, fire, and water, okay? Water's always last. They always send me mean messages. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, we're gonna jump into your reads. We're gonna break it down by each sign, and we're gonna have a great time. So be sure to stick around, listen for your sign, your friend's sign, whoever sign you wanna listen to. Make sure to leave things in the comments, and I will see you in the readings. Hello, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, with your sexy thighs. How you doing? I. Anyways, we're going to get into your read, guys. This is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, if you're listening for love. If you want to listen to your friend's sign, your sign, your mama's sign, your baby mama's sign, whoever sign you're listening to, how you doing? And welcome back. <sighs> Your crystal is Malachite. This is about change and healing, timeless wisdom. There is um, a certain way to use a stone. It must be polished or else it can be very toxic. This is about journeying and healing. It's also associated with a very spiritual journey, giving you insight with your guides. It helps you release ourselves from unwanted, outdated, 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 <laughs> outdated ties and patterns. Transformation and change are key elements with this stone. They are work well with psychosexual, social, and emotional problems to help heal them. It's also known as the midwife stone and is very useful in all situations with fertility and sexual organs. Great for asthma, blood pressure, nausea, your spleen. It's got a lot of great things, parathyroid and the liver. And it helps with diabetes. And this crystal indicates a need to break with old patterns and embrace the change. Wow, fire signs. What's really going on with those psychosexual disorders? I don't know. I want to hear it. Leave it in the comments. Let me know. Okay. Your Akashic card. I always like to think of this card as like the builder card right it's the architect it's the first house the one of keys the key to your well-being is about how you're going to build your foundation some fire signs have met somebody they want to build a foundation with they got a partner you might be redecorating your home recreating your image working on your health working on your sexy because the first house is tied to aries and this is all about yourself your physical body what you're thinking your face um, your identity, the way you show up in the world. So there's a lot of changes coming in. You might even be changing because of a relationship because there's two people on this card. Some of y'all are working with cat deities like Ma'at and Basset. And there's also this energy of being more independent, not so codependent. Okay. Yes or no question. Here we go. I'm pulling two cards. If you want to do two questions, you can, you know, because sometimes I like to ask two or three things. Okay. All right. So in your mind's eye, have you thought about your question? Are you ready? Take a deep breath. I know I need to take like a couple of millions of deep breaths. I've had a very intense day today. For question number one, 
I'm going to say it's a no because of the Seven of Cups being seduction. Don't be seduced by the package Ow. or whatever's going on over there. I mean, I don't know your life or anything, but there is a Venus flytrap here. And I feel that if you get kind of sidetracked or distracted by, you know, something shiny, which is something um, all fire signs seem to do. Um, you could get you could get hurt. So in this is to gather more information, but this would be a no for me. <laughs> now, if you chose card number two for your question, it is a yes. This is the six of swords. It says earn success. This is Aquarius energy, and this is super beautiful energy. This is you in the stage, the limelight, getting recognized. So whatever it is that you're wanting to do, it is a yes. Okay. All right. Let's jump into these reads. My shoulders are killing me. It's been a rough day, guys. I wish I would have known like all the drama me and my kids just went through just trying to get some dinner. I hope you guys are all safe out there and taking care of yourselves and just super happy. I'm gonna cut the deck. Okay, double aces, isn't that crazy? The ace of swords with the ace of pentacles reversed so financially materialistically grounding area we need to look at that foundation but we need to talk about it we need to talk about what's going on some of us are um thinking about marriage when i see two aces i think about marriage or a contract so i feel like there's a lot of conversations that need to take place there's uh, it also made me think of conception right there with the ovum and the um and the little swimmers <laughs> Anyways, who's trying to have a baby? I want to know. <laughs> and I hope you're very successful. Children are wonderful. So you don't get any sleep at night. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got going on for our beautiful fire signs. What's going on for fire? Fire. Aquarius had, not Aquarius, air signs had um, a lot of jumpers. We don't have jumpers for you guys today. Okay, your cards don't want to talk to you guys. This is going to be it right here. Let's see what it comes out. And I called it. It's a four. So we're definitely dealing with the foundation. We're dealing with, I would say, even your home, your house, thinking about how you're going to move forward, what you're going to move forward with. Really, Some of y'all are really redecorating. Congratulations. I hope it looks great. Send pictures. I'm dying to see it. Okay, fire signs, what the hell we got going on? Are we not feeling this Jupiter and Pisces energy or what? Overall energy, throw the whole thing away. <laughs> Wipe the slate clean and let's start over. What's going on? However, this is the way I look at it, right? When Genesis is reversed, it's a trump card in this deck. This is an opportunity to start over, to start fresh and to get what you really want. Rewrite the story, create a new ending, do what you gotta do. Okay. Fire signs are some of us fire signs who are having issues with our backs. That would be me. And there's also some of us who are learning to get over some hurts and pains. And I think that's why Malachite came out. The conflict is coming more from outside influences when the five of wands is reversed. This could be like your work environment. Maybe too many people coming at you at one time or wanting too much of your energy. And the sun is saying, yes, you need to focus on yourself. Yes, especially Leo. Leo, you need to focus on yourself. You need to move forward. And some of y'all just need to move. Okay. Ace of Pentacles reverse. We need to look at the situation and what are we investing our time and energy in? We need to take a break. What are we taking a break from? Because we're spinning our wheels with the Seven of Pentacles reverse. It's not going anywhere. It's not happening. So what do we need to do? We need to create with the Empress. We need to sit on our throne. We need to take a nap. We need to relax. And we need to be creative on how we're going to wipe the slate clean and move forward. Okay. Aries, how are you doing, Aries? Aries, there's a lot of emotions going on over here. You have Ishtar with the Onx, the Lions, and the Owls with the Seven of Cups, right? This is a situation of seduction. This is a situation of being seduced by your emotions. There are one, two, three dirty cups, four clean cups, and it's time to decide what needs to go, okay? So let's look at that. Let's do a pick a card. You are the one in control of your life. She has the two onks in her hands. She's being very vulnerable. She's showing everybody that she needs some help to move forward, right? Because with the eight of cups, you're walking away from something to the nine of cups. So 
situation number one, if you pick card number one, this is telling you, oh, I really like this card. It's milk and honey. I'm going to say a spiritual bath is needed. This is also about working with the elements of honey if you're doing candle magic to make love stick to you, to bring good luck in. But then there's also the energy of Ganesh, or I like to say it's Ganesh just because of the elephant in there. But this energy makes me think about moving forward, obstacles being removed. You could have a beautiful life. You probably already do, but you're being seduced by whatever it is that you don't have. Now, card number two. This is about tapping into your higher power before you make a decision. It's very important before you make a decision to go into prayer and meditation and contact your higher self so that you can make the right choices and decisions moving forward. I like how she has the keyhole on her forehead, like on her Anja. And the colors speak to me a lot just because of all that pink and purple. This could be in a situation of love. There's also an energy saying that there needs to be a candle, like a love candle, a self-love candle, before you make a decision this week, okay? Let's see. Because you want your Nine of Cups. Somebody has to walk away with that Eight of Cups to get to that Nine of Cups. I called it. You want something really bad, but what are you willing to give up, Aries? So, midweek, we have the Prince of Cups reversed. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. I'm telling you, Prince of Cups energy reverse for me is ah, when I do a love read, this is somebody who likes to spread their seeds. Or if we just want to be nice, this is just feeling a little bit drained, can't make a decision, we're feeling sad about something. Let's see what comes out. Before somebody gets their feelings hurt. Oh, look at this. I'm telling you, Aries. If you don't make a damn dirty decision. Seven of Cups. Some of y'all have to decide between a young man and an old man. An older debonair. King of Cups, baby. Or some of y'all, it's just time to grow up. It's just time to mature. It's time to get to the next level. We have to make these decisions. Now, there could be odds in the family. An emotional odd between a father and a son. Let me see what this father wants to say. Surrender. Surrender to the divine. I need a young priest and an old priest. Why is that card in here? Hold on. Wow, this is a message. Don't let pride get in the way. It's not supposed to be in here. Don't let it get in the way this week. Choose wisely. Choose with your heart. Choose with love, Aries, okay? Surrender because you're shutting things down that you shouldn't there. Okay. I have a message for somebody who has lost a, um, a male figure in the family There's something about emotionally shutting down and a spiritual bath needs to be taken and I've said that already But he is in the water She's leaning on the water and in order to unlock the doors to the life that you want You need to clear the energy of the prince of cups reversed Yes, it's a loss. Yes, it hurts. But you have these two cups right here that are standing up that the divine is trying to give you. That this energy is saying, look, get up off the floor. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. And let's go six a cup it up, okay? Because this is where he decides, Gilgamesh decides, you know what? I just lost my best friend. Somebody lost somebody really close to them, okay? Probably a father figure because of the king of cups right there. And you've been in your feelings and your emotions so much, Aries. I'm going to cry. That you kind of missed the big picture of like everything that's really good for you. There's a big change coming with the double 55. My dad's an Aries. <laughs> And this has been a really hard week for you. It could have been because Mother's Day. It just, it's just been a really hard week coming in. And you feel like emotionally drained. And don't get seduced by indecision. You have a guide that's trying to connect with you. Someone on the divine side. He's coming through. And the way that you're going to hear the message is in music and being by the water. Okay, be very careful not to drink too much this week, Aries. And I'm sorry I got all emotional. There's a lot of more messages that are in my mind and I'm debating on what to say and how to say it. Okay, get in where you fit in and stop 
Stop not seeing what the divine is telling you. There's something about an investment. There's something about money. You've been wanting to close your eyes to it. You've been trying to get your mind off of it. Pretend like it's not real. Pretend like it's not happening. It has to do with a house with the four of wands. It has to do with the foundation. And it's important, but it's tearing up the family with the ten of cups. So this is a situation of deciding, look, I have these two cups. I have this wonderful opportunity. I'm going to take what I have. I'm going to invest that into something even better better and I'm going to move forward you're not losing a house you're not losing family it's just time to make a decision it's just I want to say don't get seduced by the indecision king of cups he wants to talk to you. It's the notification. You can ring my bell on a number four. Come on. That's the four of wands. Some of y'all might be at home. The, the doorbell might ring. You might hear a chime. You're going to hear something and no one's going to be there. No one is going to be there and it's going to be them. They're trying to contact you. They're trying to come through to you, but you have been seduced by your sadness or seduced by not understanding what's really going on. This person is on the other side. They're trying to contact you. You're oblivious to it. Slow your mind down. Stop drinking if you're overindulging and stuff and listen to what the divine has to tell you. Star. Something with the star. You're the star. I don't know. It's somebody who has something with starlight, star in their name, something like that. Okay. Anyways, I'm moving forward. I'm going to have to send this to somebody because I know who it's for. Okay. Let's see. Notification, what are we notifying them about? The number 38 is important on there too. Don't be afraid to leave behind good to be fucking great, okay? At 30. <laughs> you can be great at 30, okay? You can, hey, I'm, I'm 40, I'm still great. <laughs> Refine your attention, tune into the divine. I'm sorry I got emotional because when I feel things, guys, it's not like I just feel a message. Like, I feel it. <sighs> okay. The cats. Meow! Didn't I just say, didn't I just say over here with the cat? Okay. Somebody needs to start working with a bastet, mat, anything that has to do with cat energy. Maybe use catnip. I started using catnip. I'm super excited. It's time to strike out on your own. And stop being overly dependent on others. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. You got it. You know what you got to do. Think about the cat's energy, okay? You can look at a cat and be like, oh, here, kitty, kitty. And the cat's like, meow, meow. And then when you try to touch, she's like, yeah. Because you got to be picky about who's going to touch you. Who's going to touch your energy. Who's going to be in your energy field, okay? Orange is your color this week. Go for it. And don't let pride get in the way. What are your finances say for you this week, Aries, before I keep crying over here? <sighs> I get so emotional. Take the offer that's coming in from the Page of Cups. You also have two pages here in your read, so you are going to be receiving information towards the end of the week, possibly about finances, okay? Because and finances and your emotions are high on the table. And oh, you get you get you get three cards. The butterflies like you, Aries. The butterflies want to talk to you. I'm going to give them all to you. Forgiveness is key. Forgive yourself. What's your motivation and what you're doing? Put their picture up. Honor their memory. Leave them a little glass of water. Light a little white tea candle. Give them their moment. And there's something about roses and pink flowers. And um, I'm going to say monarch butterflies, okay? Monarch butterflies are going to be very important. And those are messages from the divine, and you know who you are. Okay. Whew. Give me some of this smoke over here. Lord Jesus, let's, let me clear my energy because that was intense. Okay. Thank you, Aries. Have a nice day. <laughs> Aries is like, but I want to know what's going to happen in love. Not a damn thing, because you need to figure out to play. <laughs> okay, Aries. Take a chance. Stop thinking about how good it could have been, and then go jump off that cliff and enjoy your life. Go enjoy the opportunities of something new, okay? Enjoy something new. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be good. Just go. 
Go for it, go for it, and go for it. Okay. Leo! What's going on, Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. Pull it, pull it together, Leo. Okay, Leo. You got the double. Oh, you wanna really, you wanna have some fun. You wanna get all nitty gritty down there. However, this is the beast of burdens right here. This is um, Capricorn energy, right? But this is the beast of burdens. It's the donkey. And Lamatsu is being pulled apart. She's got, there's, there's a lot of dualities here. The snakes represent the wisdom. The two dogs are nuzzling at her chest and she's trying to balance it all. You're trying to hold it together, Leo, and you're about to fall apart. You need to learn to ask for help. If you ask for help, you got everything to gain and your foundation is going to get better because right now we're not celebrating because we're falling apart. And some of y'all are worried about a move. I am. I don't know where I'm going to move. Okay. Let's see, Leo. Who built the ark? No one. <laughs> That's what came to my head when I saw the boat. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Think about it. Do you want card one or card two? Card one. It's you are definitely with a soulmate. You are definitely working with a soulmate with this this beautiful energy of the devil and the 11 makes me think of karmic ties. But this also makes me think about oh, what are you choosing to follow? Let go of old patterns. Allow the universe to bless you and let Ganesh remove obstacles out of your way. Okay. I'm just going to leave it there. And plus, I think some of y'all are moving your family somewhere. A caravan. I'm just waiting. Go with the pachyderm. Now, the devil and the fates. Some of y'all are caught up in a situation where it was a very faded relationship. It wasn't supposed to last forever, even though it was really freaking great and you wanted it to last forever. It didn't, okay? But it was faded. It was something in the stars. You were They were aligning at the right time. Thank the universe for the experience and move forward. The Emperor and the Six of Pentacles. The devil is telling you. The devil. The devil said. The devil made me do it. No. The Emperor is coming through. For me, this is somebody who wants to be very strategic. They're a leader. They want to move forward. There's something about being very aware about your Mars energy. Check your chart. And then you see those horns back there? This Aries energy is really telling you, like, how do you want to be seen in the world? How do you want to show up for yourself? All right. And some of y'all just have maybe some really strong energy or male energy coming in for you that wants to help. So this is like reciprocal energy. This is a situation where somebody pours into you and you catch it. And then when they need it, you pour back into them. It's a beautiful thing. Very rarely seen these days. However, it's out there. Don't lose hope. If you give in to this situation and you allow this energy to happen, you get the Nine of Pentacles. But Leo, let me tell you something about yourself. You love your old ways and you like to keep things the same. You know, you just like to keep it the same. So there's a conflict because you can have it all. And because you can have it all, you're a little afraid that if you do that and you, and you let this energy come in and help, because now I have a double six next to each other, Three sixes. This is new love. This is beautiful energy wants to come in for you. And it's scary. You're scared. Oh, look, you saw, I'm scared. I can't even shuffle. You're scared. Met this person online. You have the situation online. Hashtag go for it, okay? But this is a lot of communicating. You're learning how to communicate. Remember the X and O in tic-tac-toe? There's a lot of like hugs and kisses and love and you're just shocked that it's happening. And it makes you feel conflicted. You're like, wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> this is gonna end. No, it's only gonna end if you want it to, okay? Four of Wands. Why is this reversed? Why is Leo fighting the fun? Oh, Leo, get out of your head and enjoy the Three of Cups. Get out of your head. It can be this great. You don't think it can be this great. You're just like, your thoughts are like, this person doesn't really want to be with me. This job is, can't really choose me. Like, no, this has never happened before. How about you let it happen? How about you enjoy it to happen? And if you allow this energy to come in, you allow this this. You've been manifesting, you've been creating, and it seems like when good things happen for you, you often question why they're happening. 
How do we work through the Five of Swords? Oh, Archangel Raphael. You're going to work with your heart chakra. Open your heart. You're a damn dirty Leo. We're freaking hearts here. That's all we are. This is a week that you are thinking about family with the Six of Cups, the Three of Cups, celebrating. You're just like thinking how great things could be. And if you chose the Faded card, this is one of those situations where don't close yourself off because something didn't work. Because something's coming back. Something's coming for you. Go out and celebrate. See what the butterflies have to say. Hmm. Grief work. You got to let things go, Leo. You got to work with Mother Mary because there is that ladybug energy on her. This is very beautiful. Work through it. And join into the fun. Join in. Accept what the divine is giving you and stop freaking fighting it. You have a fucking emperor in here who has bomb ass sex with you because you have the damn devil right there. This is a soul tie that could be bada bing bada boom, but you're so worried about, mm, I don't know, it might end. You better go for it. Enjoy it. Enjoy what you got. <sighs> Let's see. Which one? Number two. Laugh at your demons. <laughs> okay, learn to make friends with the things that you don't like about yourself, Leo, and stop being so hard. You're just being really hard on yourself, and there's really no need to be that hard. Let's see what the emperor wants to give you. I hope it's not the bad picture. <laughs> the emperor wants to give you his heart non-gmo not messed up they're giving you a whole complete heart they're telling you here take it and you're like i don't know so we need to talk about it because it comes down to 26 26 comes down to an eight and an eight is communication travel and good things which one is it because i'm gonna i knew it Okay, Mother Mary is very strong with you. Work with Mother Mary for forgiveness moving forward, especially with your mother energy. But the ladybug is telling you, the ladybug message is, this is time to be lucky and love, lucky and luck, lucky, 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 lucky Leo. Okay? Be willing to receive what the earth is giving you or what God is giving you, however you want to look at this. I'm just going to tell you, this could be a very beautiful week for you if you surrender to the divine. Okay. Okay, enough, Leo. Enough. <sighs> Taking the whole show, Leo. Financially, seven of pentacles. How are we going to make the garden grow? Look at who's working with you. Look at all that goat energy. You got to be like the goat this week. Get up that hill, baby. Do what you got to do. Invest in what you got to invest because it's going to grow. And you're a star. Okay, Leo, that sounds wonderful. That's great. But um, you need to go sit yourself down. You need to go get you some ladybug energy. <laughs> and open up your heart chakra. It could be so good. Okay, Sag, what's up, sexy? Sag, what the hell is going on over here? This is a hot mess. I hope my camera doesn't die. Prince of Swords. What the hell? Okay, reversed. Ten of Wands. We're done fighting. We don't want to change because <laughs> there's imbalance. Why is there imbalance? Where are the cards? Okay. Too many cards on my table. Look Look how the energy is for you, Sag. Hi, oh, Sagittarius. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Sag. We're not communicating possibly with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or there's just a lot of miscommunication going on. You kind of feel like it's just not working right now for you. So one or two. Tick tock, you don't stop. All right, all right, color me bad coming through. Look, you're never gonna run out of time. You always have enough time to do exactly what you need. And there's something called divine timing. And it's all in your hands, Sag. You are going to be just fine. Don't get carried away about all of the time stuff. And when is it going to happen? And when is this going to happen? Go with the flow. And we're not talking to somebody who possibly broke our heart and made us feel like we're very alone. And we're not, we're not appreciative of it. The, they weren't appreciative of you. And all you want to do is shine. All you want to do is shine. There's no real victory, it feels like. It feels like you're just like... 
you're fighting it. There was something about a trip also. Somebody was supposed to go on a trip. I don't know if that trip is going to happen because of timing, I get. You know, that could be why. Or because you got left out or somebody didn't want, you know, something weird happened. And I know you're all about your travels. Ten of Wands, what's going on here? Who lied to you this week? Sag! You're going to find out all of it. Look, there you are holding all the truth. Assist. You're like, huh? Hmm. Hmm. What did you say? <laughs> Just be very calm. You're going to get all the information that you need, baby. You ain't even got to worry about it. <sighs> Pay attention on the 26th of May when that first um, eclipse hits. You're all tied up. Look, 23, if another 5, 55. It's going to change something. You're about to free yourself from a situation, and you're going to fall into a better situation with this Two of Pentacles reverse. Let it all fall down, okay? Like Kanye's song. When it all falls down, you get a new beginning with the Ace of Swords, okay? Y'all gonna see my little ghetto get up and down. Okay. Sag! <sighs> Look, if you let things change, you're I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what I mean? Independent, nine of pentacles, and working on your monty. Okay? Let that shit go. Move forward. Whoever it is trying to take your thunder, your shine, whatever you want to call it. You're going to get it by the end of the week. And you're going to find out who was talking shit. Because we're in a retrograde. Ah! We're in shadow. You're about to find out. The 23rd is going to be a big day for you. Look. 23 again. 23rd is going to be a very big day for you. Remember that. Don't get caught up in their web of lies because you're all tied up in it. You're going to get the information with the Seven of Swords. It's possibly a work situation. You're, some of you are going to become an independent contractor. Then I see other people just really removing themselves from a relationship that you weren't getting the, the type of attention that you wanted. You are stronger than you know. How about that? Even the butterfly is going to tell you. Look, Sag, get them sexy ass thighs of yours. Do a couple squats. Ah, get them all buff. You're going to find someone new. There's so many people in this world. Don't get hung up on the wrong one. <laughs> okay, some of you are just getting a new career. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I saw the Roadrunner. That's why I said that. Okay. Free yourself so that you can act on what you need to act on with the Falcon. You've seen it. You know what you want. Go for it. Stop waiting for the right time, the perfect time, the only time. Go for it. Just do it. Okay, just do it. Correct your mistakes, all right? Fix things, especially at work, especially at work. <sighs> what other cards are we gonna do? Let's look at your finances. Sag, I'm not liking this, but you know what? By the end of the week, you pull it together. Monty, six of coins, it's coming in. Some of you are going to be getting some money in the mail, money in the bank. You're going to be able to help other people. There's also family money coming in, probably around the 23rd or the 26th, okay? Pay lots of attention to that. Release this burden with the Ten of Wands. Let, let that person carry their own weight, okay? Like, they want to be mean. Bye. Shabai. Right, let's see. Give them some guidance. Look, they lied to you. They're taking your coins. Get rid of that deceitful ass energy. You're going to know who it is. I'm going to tell you, this is the week you find the F out who's doing it. And you're going you're gonna to call me or you're going to message me or DM me and you're going to tell me because I want to know, Sag. Just tell me. Okay, or email me. Send another message. And I think that's it. That's it, fire signs. So we're going to be moving into Agua. We're going to move into the water, the Cancer, the Scorpio, and the Pisces. Hello, water signs, Cancer. Hi, Scorpio. Pisces, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing super fantabulous. This read is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus, if you're listening for love. All right. Your crystal is magnesite. This is the catalyst for change, okay? It's not a very pretty crystal, but it's a pretty damn powerful one. So it works really closely with your heart chakra to help raise the energy of love, okay? And it is a catalyst for change because it's time for some things to change, water signs. 
Within the self, it helps us to recognize areas we need to change with clarity and honesty. And it brings truth to the surface and gets rid of the deceit and the deception. Working with it in meditation is also very helpful, okay? It works well with the nervous system, the digestive system, helps with weight, okay, and your tephesis. And on a spiritual level, I really want you to look at your motivations. What's motivating you? Are you allowing yourself to be influenced by others and their problems? I'm going to just leave that there for a minute. Okay. All right. Seven of Roses. Okay. Can we go to calmer waters? This, is what, this makes me think of the Six of Swords energy. There is a journey. There is a trip. Maybe we need to go be by the water before we make some decisions, especially about relationships, partnerships. I'm thinking about the Seventh House, open enemies. That's like somebody you know has got it in for you, but you still got to work with them. And you're like, I really don't want to do that. We need to get away from that. We need to clear. We need to cleanse. And we need to move forward. And what's motivating you to make the decisions that you're making? How are you going to work with those? I'm just looking at the card to get more messages from it. Another thing that I'm picking up from this is some of y'all are going to be scheduling trips with people. And you're going to realize, I don't really want to go with that person anymore. And you're going to change your mind. I don't know why, but you will. Okay, let's cut the deck. Let's see what we got going on. Six of Wands with the High Priestess Reverse. We are not trusting our intuition, and that's why we feel defeated. We just feel like everything is going the wrong way. Nothing is going our way right now. And if that's not your situation, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. All right, let's see. Lots of twos. Cancer. Oh, Cancer, that wanted to come out that way. I'm going to leave it. It just wanted to fly out. Whew, cancer, you got a hater over there. Jesus, help us all. Okay. The Eight of Swords. So you're in a situation that you are carrying everybody's baggage, everybody's weight. And my friend, it's hard to climb up that hill. It's time to get, it's hard to get to where you want to be in life when you're so busy trying to get everybody else where they're going to be in life. And it's, oh, sorry. And it's time to focus on yourself. If you drop that bag of unnecessary, unneeded bullshit, you would get to where you need to be. And I said it like that for a reason. Please don't send me mean messages. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Let's move on. All right. Okay. Oh, I need to read the bottom of the deck. Sorry. Because I know I'm going to get some mean messages. It's okay. I'll be fine. My feelings will get hurt, but it's okay. It's an injustice that people keep taking advantage of you. Pay attention to June 11th. It's going to be something important that day. And someone's going to come and ask you for something, possibly a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, especially if you're a Cancer. Now, the Ten of Arrows is like it could have been a whole hell of a lot worse, but it wasn't. And although you're being vulnerable and you're really trying to help, I'm going to say protect your goodies. Yes, your goodies, okay? Protect your money, your time, your energy, your life, all of it, your vagina, everything. Because the Empress is watching and she's like, look, I gave you all of this stuff to create and manifest with and you're going to let these people take it from you? Hell no. Prince of Cups is coming in with an offer. Spirit Guide is blessing that. And the Four of Pentacles is reversed because we're feeling a little bit of home insecurity. And what I mean by that is something's not right in the home life, whether it's with your family, whether it's in your home, we're just feeling a little bit shaken and stirred, okay? But if you just let go, just let go, it'll be much better. Okay, Cancer. Cancer, you ready, 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 ready to run. <laughs> All I want to do is have some fun. But what's all this talk about love? I'm just lame. I love Dixie Chicks. So in this situation, we have a dad. All right. That's the name of the guy. And he has got the chariot. He's got his little Poseidon trident thing in his hand. And he's going head on into a situation. Your life is about to completely change. The horse is all about change. But you have to be in charge of what's going to change. How are you going to do that, Cancer? How are you going to be in charge? Inquiring minds want to know. That's been a very popular card today. Okay. Card number one or card number two? Oh, we didn't do um, a yes or no, so we'll just do it at the end for you. Okay. Card number one, you have that of serendipity. This is a situation of like 
perfect timing, divine timing, especially with your heart. I think you're watching everybody go through things and you're kind of wanting to have the same kind of effect or to be in the same spot. But Cancer, you got something else coming for you and it's going to be better. Your lucky day is coming because that's a four leaf clover and she's being carried away by that luck. And I kind of feel like in this situation, it's about releasing your energy to the divine and allowing it to happen. 18, 7, 18, July 18th is going to be a big day for you. Blessed, never stressed, okay? This is about realizing that sometimes you got to go in order to get your blessings. You might need to move. You might need to move on to a different area. Oops, sorry, but there's something different. Uh, that was a nice one. <laughs> there's something different about what needs to be done so that you can have the blessings that you need to move forward. 722 might be a very important day for you. But I also want to say you need to start working more with your crown and your anja and really focusing and manifesting those energies so that you can move forward. So let's talk to our beautiful chariot. Hello, chariot. What does cancer need to know? What does cancer need to know? You gotta go. Oh, oh. You gotta go. You got the Six of Swords and the Chariot, and there are Baya con Dios, goodbye, okay? And I'm going to say, if you're dealing with a male fire sign, okay, you really got to go. <laughs> no, but in this situation, I'm going to say, don't let your pride get in the way. Move forward. If you got to go, you got to go. There's no need to hold on to something that doesn't want to be held on to, all right? You might get a little reminiscent about the good old days. Remember the good old days? Were they really that good, or is that the story you're telling yourself? Six of Cups reversed. There is a situation, and I'm going to read this to you two times, two ways, okay? Some of y'all are very much stuck in the past, or you're thinking about the past of how great something was with somebody, but they're really coming out like this, okay? So I have the Hierophant reverse with the Knight of Wands. Don't be so quick into running into something from the past just because you think it feels good. Okay, it might feel real good. But it's tied to it. <sighs> because the last time, they didn't leave your heart in a good space. And um, you're kind of running right back into it. And this can be also in a friendship. It doesn't always have to be romantic love. Your heart doesn't just love people romantically. Your heart loves everybody, even loves your family. And I kind of feel like someone is taking advantage of you. And they're going to come back and they really want to talk to you and they really want to make it work. Really, okay? But in truth and honesty, you're the nine of pentacles. You have rebuilt yourself you are no longer who you used to be. It is your money. It is your time. It is your energy. It's everything that belongs to you. Don't let this queen of swords come through and rain on your parade. Because she is right under that. She just, you need a safe space from this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Or this is a woman or a, an energy or a person who, whose words are very cutting or silence is very stabbing. Okay? So let's see. What is this? What does this energy want you to know? Queen of Swords. I got death. So I kind of feel in this situation, something's got to change. There has to be a big change. What needs to change? And I'm going to tell you, they're not showing you the truth. They're not showing, no, no te están enseñando la cara, okay? They're not showing you their face. They're not showing you what's real. They're, in your, they're telling you, oh, everything is okay. Like, everything's fine. What are you talking about? And then they're doing stuff behind your back. That's why you're going to do it independently. And there's something about their hair. Okay, maybe they got a bad haircut. I don't know. Maybe they're about to move because I have the double nine at the end with the 36. Uh, there's just something about their hair. They might be really big on their hair. I think they have brown hair. It's really what I'm getting, more of a brown-headed girl. Um, Something has to change because they're draining all your energy from the star. Um, it's like everything that's been good for you or everything that's going good for you, they make it a big deal to make it a negative thing for them. Um, you just need to get away from that energy. All your blessings are for you. You don't owe this person anything. Some of y'all are going through a divorce. Stay off social media with it, okay? 
patience is needed. Like there has to be a lot of patience in the situation moving forward. It's about asking for the divine to come through and help. This is a really, man, my neck is hurting. Like, I, I, I don't know, Cancer, I kind of feel like you're just really going through the gigs this week. <sighs> a lot of deep breathing. Write down, or every morning before you wait, before your feet hit the floor, think about five things you're grateful for. Focus on the way that you feel. Like for me, when I wake up, I'm just, I just think, I thank the universe for sending me such beautiful children. I thank the universe for giving me such wonderful friends. I thank the universe that my knee works again. <laughs> Not 100%, but it's working again. And I go through and I just, and I feel what it feels like to be thankful. Because you have to remember what you've been blessed with, right? Sometimes we're kind of stuck on what we don't have or what all the bad things that are going on in our life because that was me about two hours ago trying to go get food for my kids and nothing worked. Like Mercury retrograde shadow is real, okay? But at the end of the day, what is important? What's important? That nothing worked or that, <laughs> that you're happy and you're okay? Like, I have to stop and tell myself that too, Cancer. And I just kind of feel like you're running ragged. You're running ragged. Look, twice. Be patient. Damn it. <laughs> I can't make that shit up. Okay, Cancer, this is not your week to be trying to do everything for everybody. I don't care what the Queen of Swords has to say. She can go eat a motherfucking pickle. I don't give a damn. And I hope the thing is extra sour and it makes her taste buds go. And she makes a really ugly face and someone takes a selfie of her. Or takes a picture and then they post it and then she feels bad. That's mean. I know I shouldn't say stuff like that. But anyways, you have the camel energy. So by Wednesday on hump day, you're going to be sauntering in, feeling yourself. And trust that you have everything you need to get through all of these challenges before you. Okay? Archangel Kamael, or Shamael, is going to help. I like this camel smile. Okay, Cancer? I want you to see his smile. You're like, you thought that was going to hurt my feelings. I don't think so. You're going to be like, what day is today? Hump day. <laughs> it's going to be... I don't care what that Queen of Swords energy has for you. You're going to be okay. Take a deep breath. Take that vacation. Take that trip. Celebrate what you have, Cancer. And be happy. And if you're not happy, get it all out with a trusted friend who's not going to judge you. Eat some good food together. Have some great laughs. And enjoy each other. Okay? We all need somebody. Self-employment. Some of y'all ready to quit your job. You're like, I hate my work. <laughs> I hate it here. That's me every day. I hate my job. But I don't hate it. It's just like I hate driving. So I kind of feel like some of y'all are really thinking about going into business for yourself or you are self-employed. And that's just really on your mind right now. And if you're trying to accumulate abundance into your um into your self-employment, it's really good to work on Thursdays with Jupiter energy, with a green candle, with pyrite, with some cinnamon oil, um, or some cinnamon, um, bay leaf, you cover your candle with a little bit of olive oil or however you wanna do it, you make it a little money oil, cover it, burn it, and pray, and move on. Or you go get you a little cinnamon stick, Boil some water, let that aroma get all nice and beautiful. Go through your house and bless it with the energy of cinnamon so that the abundance comes in, okay? Oh, I got a headache. Financially, the five of staffs, you just feel like really like tight right now. It's just really, really tight. It's going to pass. Next week is going to be better. This week is going to be okay too. You're going to get through it. Everything's going to be fine. Divine timing. Don't let that queen of swords get in your life and ruin it, okay? Okay. In your mind's eye, think about the question you want to ask. Or you can ask two questions. I'm going to give you two answers. Okay. Which one? One or two? Number one is a no. Five of swords. You feel defeated? Can't move forward. This is that um, feeling of like shitting or right. Stop doing it, okay? 
Card number two, Moon and Sag. Moon and Sag. I'm going to say it's a yes. You're on the fence. You're kind of fighting it. You don't know. But it's a yes. You can keep going. Don't stop, baby. Get it, get it. All right. Whew. Let's just be nice over here because I feel like cancer. My neck hurts. My neck. My back. My up. Oh, shut your mouth, cancer. Shut your, shut your mouth, cancer. Dream big, little pig. That's just one of my favorite books. The wishes are coming true. Keep manifesting your boo. I mean, it's, oh, I made a little rhyme. Ow. Look, the star card and the nine of cuts. Even though the star card is reversed, I'm going to tell you, keep wishing. Don't stop, okay? It's going to get better. All right. Cancer. Scorpio. Scorpio. What we got going on over here, Scorpio? Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay. Five of Cups. We started off the week with the Five of Cups. <sighs> We're at a loss for words. We're at a loss for something. We're just tired. And um, some of y'all are going through some friendship issues because this is when Gilgamesh lo loses his best friend. You're going through friendship issues. You're wondering and you're questioning your friendships. You're wondering about a lot of the choices that you've made. And you can stay in that energy if you like, but I think that at this point, you're just ready to cut your losses and move forward. All right, cards, you just want to move around like that. Okay, all right, okay. Number one. Okay, so here we have, I think we're overthinking a situation with card number one. Sorry, I didn't even ask you. Card one or two, my bad. Card number one, all right. <laughs> you, you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. You're going back. You're replaying things from the past. It's just time to move forward. 44 is a master number. You are ready to move forward. You are like the architect of your life. There's no need to be stuck and wondering, what am I doing wrong? What if you're doing everything right? It just wasn't the right time. Because you had to learn something, and you're going to grow, and you're going to be better. Okay? Now, card number two. I'm going to say pay attention to your manifestations that you made during the new moon. Because a lot of stuff is going to come into play. And I also feel like you need to watch something from a distance. Protect your energy because he's sitting on an egg. Just watch things from a distance before you go and make any choices and decisions. Okay? See, remove the blinders and see things for what they are. Two of swords. And then look, right under the two of swords, two of swords reversed. And I feel like the reason why we're reversed is because we kind of got the information with the thinker card, but we don't want to believe it. And with the other card, we're like, I got to see it to believe it. But uh, you did see it. Now you got to believe it. Okay. So let's look at this two of swords. Two of Swords, what do we got going on here? What do we got going on? We need to protect our energy. We need to make sure that we don't lose our confidence, especially in financial situations with the family. Now, we're also very afraid of being accepted by our family. So we might have like, we might be like, um, you're like when you're overprotective of stuff. <sighs> like your guard is up really high. And so you think that you're protecting yourself because your guard is high, but you're really extra sensitive, right? It's like a weird situation. Why is this happening? Let's see. Archangel Metatron wants to come in. This is about really using your intuition. So you're not really seeing what's going on. Maybe you need to learn to feel what's going on. If you can learn to feel what's going on, you're going to make a right decision, Scorpio. You got the world on your shoulders this week. What's going on, guys? What are signs? What is going on? <laughs> we have Jupiter and Pisces. What's going on? <laughs> But we're going to be okay. The Three of Swords reverse. Things are going to get better. Hopefully. You have to be very strategic on how you move forward. I feel like Mars energy wants to come in and help. Like It's like, hey, look. What you're doing is not working. So let's sit down and let's recalculate. Let's release Let's release all these things that we're carrying. Let's release them. 
so that we can be strategic on how we move forward. Let's release them so that we know how to move forward, okay? Because all that glitters isn't gold. It looked really good, like effing good, okay? And then you got a little closer and you're like, ew, full on Monet, like what is this? It doesn't even look right. Be strategic. And understand that we all make mistakes, Scorpio. Admit your vulnerability. Choose friends wisely. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, okay? Let's see what the butterflies have for you. Butterfly out. Get some rest. Take your ass to sleep. Go to bed. Go to sleep. Y'all remember the song by Ludacris? Go to sleep home. <laughs> Where is this coming from? Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to stop with the music because I'm going to start singing inappropriate songs. Oh, you got the polar bear. I love the polar bear energy. Stand up for yourself. Speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. Polar bear energy, you're able to withstand the coldest and most harshest of situations, Scorpio. Don't let it get to you. This is about you really taking some time away, getting some rest, really paying attention to how people are treating you before you keep investing in them, okay? Whew, that was some intense energy, my love. Like, I'm sorry, Scorpio. I really want you to have a good week. You are going to have a good week. You're going to focus on the good things that are coming in. You're a motherfucking polar bear, baby. You got this. Financially, it's... <laughs> You're like, I hate you, Art. <laughs> Safe for a rainy day, okay, Scorpio? You have the tower energy coming in. There might be a sudden impact on your finances. Something might be an unexpected expense or something. So just be aware of that, all right? Okay, Scorpio, you can turn me off now. I'm sure you hate me. Let's let's look at love. Let's look at love, Scorpio. Let's look at love. Give me something good. Give me something good. Oh, look, you manifested a baby, Scorpio. <laughs> that was the unexpected expense. Look, you can have it all. You can have it all. If I rule the world. You got a lot of world energy going on. So... I just kind of feel like you have to manifest the kind of love you want so that you can create it. The Empress and the Magician are very creative energy. The number 13 is coming out when I put those together, which comes down to a four, which is all about the home life, my love. Create an abundant home with love and start with loving yourself. Okay, I didn't do yes or no, so let's do yes or no together. I want you to think about two questions, okay? And we're going to answer them. I'm just going to answer them. We're going to see what these cards say. So, card one or question one. Yes. Yeah, go for it. Or, yeah, that was a horrible idea. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's just a yes, okay? Strength. And I really feel like being brave is going to be important because there's that strength energy with the Leo on there. This could be really pretty energy and it's transformational energy, especially creative with the chakra of the sacral. Okay. Okay. Now my car is playing jokes on me, y'all. You know I said the world keeps popping out? Yes. It's the world. It's time to take the weight of the world off your shoulders. You are stronger than you can ever imagine. You are so strong. You have it all, Scorpio. But you're holding on to things that no longer serve you. Release them to start a new journey. Two majors. Look at that. 821. That's my birthday. It keeps coming up. I hope I have a freaking kick-ass birthday. I haven't had a good birthday in like 10 years. So I'm really praying that this year will be one of my most amazing birthdays ever. As I choke. Probably not now, right? Okay. I already hurt my own feelings. <laughs> Scorpio hates me. I love you, Scorpio, and you are a freaking polar bear this week. You are super strong. You got it going on, and you're hella sexy, and everybody wants a piece of you. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let's go to Pisces. Pisces. Ay, Pisces. Como estas, Pisces? <sighs> Release their baggage. 
So, Six of Wands reversed. We kind of feel a little bit defeated in an area of our life, whether it's our own or we're just we're just really feeling somebody else's energy really heavy. Um, with the Six of Wands reversed, looking at the Eight of Pentacles, I kind of feel like this is just like you know, like Wiley E. Coyote. We just got to go back to the drawing bur bird. The drawing bird. We go back to the drawing board and kind of like revamp, remap, and redo things. Right. That's all we got to do, boo. That's it. That's all. Because ah, oh, these are good choices. Why did we not have the victory? One or two? Which one are you gonna do? Because you're in between worlds. But uh, let me do it like this. Because you're in between worlds, Pisces. Ow! Because you're going to that victory, baby. You're putting your crown on, but you're leaving the darkness, okay? Now, I've chosen number two. The reason why there's no victory is because you need to tie up some loose ends and you need to finish some stuff up. There's also something with a soulmate, unfinished symphony. This is you really needing to start something new, but in order for that to happen, you need to not be the clown and you need to make sure that you finish what you start. Okay, don't overcommit because Jupiter is in your sign. Don't be the yes to everything, all right? And there's your victory. So I have the number 33 showing up. So I feel like in order to get to the six of wands, you have to, do, okay, look. The way that I'm looking at it, I have the darkness and the light from between the world. The three of wands, she's looking at the victory, but she knows she's got things to finish up. Gotta finish some stuff up, Pisces. Close that chapter, baby. Pulling up to my bumper, baby. Ow. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Let's see what Diana has to say for you. This is Focus Intentions. Look at her little moon on her head. She's so hot. She's so pretty. Anyways, think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. Michael Jackson just came to my head. I think this is Dirty Diana. I don't know. Anyways, move forward with faith, knowing that the universe is supporting you, okay? Now, it's a, listen to this. It's because your angels and guides are sending you important messages that you may be missing during the day. So if you're constantly waking up at night, it's because your guides are like, hey, remember me? Hey, I got, some, I got a message for you, okay? So that might be happening too. Move into your power. Move into your power, baby. What the hell? I don't know. I got songs in my head. I don't know. So anyways, that's what's coming through with that number 33. Let's see here. What do we have to learn new skills with? Probably need to learn how to sing. That's what it needs to be. Pisces. The Eight of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles and Judgment. Okay. So we have to make a decision. We have to release something and we got to get in where we fit in, okay? And I do think some of y'all are going to be working very closely with somebody new who's like kind of like your mentor or something. Like they're going to be helping you do something. That's pretty hot. That's nice. That's a good thing, right? They're going to help you. I like that. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay. August 17th might be a really big day for you too because you got to get you got to get into some action, baby. Action Jackson, ah, oh, the 17th or the 20th, you're going to make a decision on your investment, you're going to make a decision on your career, something materialistic is going to come through, and I feel like you're releasing something with that judgment card, like she's like, look, I'm free, I'm going to go do me. <laughs> Barrel full of monkeys just came to my head, look, ah, another 821, ah, it's my birthday, anyways, <laughs> the mason jar, align your chakras align them and I also want to say like there's something about okay I'm from the I'm very southern um I grew up in the south and I know like sometimes I say some really weird things but we use drink out of mason jars right over here I have a ton of mason jars um this makes me think that it's very important Pisces for you to take some time out make you some tea some iced tea and sit out and enjoy your life for a minute, especially by the water, because the King of Cups is looking at me. You need to put things into action and stop beating yourself up over things that you have no control over. Stop over committing to things. The week of the 17th of August is going to be a really big week for you. That's going to be one of your weeks that you're just like going to feel like you're on fire. Like everything's moving forward and it's moving so fast. August is going to be an intense time. And I kind of feel like just start 
closing out on whatever you're doing now like this is what that unfinished symphony is about and it puts your intentions towards what you really want because it's coming okay and you finish strong all right seven of wands baby ain't nobody gonna hold you down you got this you're facing all your fears you look damn good naked i'm telling you baby go flaunt what you got okay i'm all for it i'm looking sexy pisces i don't know don't take pictures and send them to me, though, okay? Because sometimes I say stuff and I don't want to be doing that. So, let's see. I want to do a picker card. So I want you to think about this reading and think about the action, releasing the judgment, taking the time, the apprenticeship, one person leaving the darkness to move to the light, and the other person wrapping things up because they got something better coming. So, one or two. If you pick card number one, it's just time for you to have courage to go towards your new life. That's why you're leaving that darkness behind. That's why Diana is coming in and telling you to set some intentions. That's why you're learning new skills with that eight of pentacles. You're putting them into action. You're drinking from your mason jar. You're doing it big, baby. Now, chose card number two. You want to know why you got to finish things out and why you got to release the judgment and why you got to go? Because it just wasn't for you. And, and it doesn't make the other person bad or the job bad or whatever. It's just it's not for you anymore. And it's time to move forward. And, you know, there's that saying you have to know when to leave the party, leave the house. Leave. You have to know when it's time to go. Are in the words of Kenny Rogers, know when to hold them and know when to fold them, okay? Because it's just part of life. you got to do that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The angel of strength. Call on her. She's going to help you through those changes. I also want to say, look, these are two different decks, and these women look so much alike. I want you to look at that. I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but do you see how much they look alike? There is a woman with brownish, blackish hair. Amazing brows, okay? She might have a nice um, nude lip going on. I like it. I'm digging this look little wavy hair or something. I mean, they both have wavy hair half up. That person's going to come through for you. That is an energy. And if you don't know this person, like I'm P Pisces, you're going to meet a stranger. If you don't know this person, you're going to meet a stranger and they're just going to be the one that helps you get through what you need to get through. And I'm getting emotional. There's something you're afraid to do. You're afraid to leave. You're afraid to go. You're afraid of what's coming next. And, um, this person's going to give you the strength and you they might you might not even realize it until later on be like I don't even really know that person but they really helped me and that's because they were sent to you from the divine oh wait sorry I got a little emotional kind of emotional today I don't know, I don't know what my problem is sorry I cried already in Aries I'm gonna try to hold it together is that really the core okay all right you have the mouse Okay, you're overlooking some important details, so pay closer to attention to what's going on. Sometimes when you dream about a mouse, it's about secrets. Um, there's something going on that you're not seeing. And I think what you're not seeing is a blessing in disguise. Something is about to completely end because you're about to begin something whole brand new life. Maybe there's something with the name Diana. She's coming through for you. This energy is going to come through. It's going to come through. Mouse, what's wrong? What's up with this mouse energy? <sighs> For some of y'all, it's about really clearing your crown chakra. Okay, clear your clown, your clown, not your clown, your crown, and maybe clean things up internally with a juice cleanse. Clean things up, okay? A mouse in the house is never fun. So just clean it up. Okay. And be true to you. All right? Be true to you. And look, have courage. Some of y'all are going to go to a Leo for some help. There's a lot of Leo energy going on here. Okay, let's look at your finances. Como están las finances de Pisces? Como están las finances? Let's see. The seven of staffs, which is the seven of swords. <sighs> I'm going to say things are going to get better, but it's an uphill battle. <laughs> okay, so like make sure that you're saving for that rainy day just to run in case, okay? What's up with love for these Pisces? Like what do these Pisces got to do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
You need to find your balance because it's a whole hell. Yeah, love is coming through for you. Look at your heart chakra open up to the sun. But you got to find some balance, baby, so you can move forward. And some of you are getting over a heartbreak. But the sun will come out tomorrow. I'm telling you, it's coming, baby. All right, let's think about your questions. One question, two questions. How many other questions you got? All right. Fix them in your mind. Let's see what I get. Okay. Are you ready? For question number one, you got the Eight of Pentacles. This is a definitely a mastery card. So, yeah, no, it's a yes. You are mastering things. You got the Eight of Pentacles twice. So I want to say whatever you've been working on, whatever you've been trying to change, to manifest, to bring into your life. Oh, my friend, it's going to be oh so beautiful and oh so good. Okay. Number two. The Three of Wands. This is a yes. Yes. Did you get the three of wands up here? So you got the double three of wands and the double eight of pentacles. Look at that. So for me, what, when, I'm, when I see two cards that are sitting there, in order to get to that victory, you've got to start investing in learning new skills and learning new ways of doing things so that you can get out of the situation that you're in. Okay? So in this three of wands, you just, she didn't start the fire. I'm just playing. Anyways, she's looking at her goals. But in this three of wands, she's over the damn dirty beehive, baby. And the sun is shining on her. So this is you getting exactly what you wanted, Pisces. All right, my friend. That's all I have for you. <laughs> Thank you guys for being patient with me. I hope to have these out tonight. I'm going to process these videos. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, okay? Because we go live over there all the time and we're always having fun. And it's just great to be connected that way because then you can jump in my DMs and have a conversation with me because I like to talk. So with that being said, have a beautiful week. Be sure to like, to share, to subscribe, and to come engage with me on social media. All right? Take care and be blessed.